congratulations. You are a new district manager. This is a huge, huge deal. If you go check out earnings.argon.com, you'll see that I think it's around 25% of people that ever start an Arbonne business promote to district manager. So that's pretty amazing that you have done that. And we always say, if you can go district, you can go nation. It's the same thing. It's just helping other people do what you've just done. So the intention of this new district manager call is for you to have an understanding of some important things around the business and mindset stuff and where to go from here. How do you earn your monthly bonus? How do you go area qual? How do you how do you go from here, right? And how do you help other people do the same? So I have some slides I'm going to share with you. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Sandy Critties. If you're watching this, you're likely in mine and my husband Wade's nation. We do this business together. We are very proud independent consultants and an executive national vice president partnership. And at the time of this recording, it's end of 2022. I've been in this business for four years. So four years ago, I was a new independent consultant, um, working my way towards district like you just have. So a lot can change in a short amount of time when you treat this business like a business. So um, I'm going to encourage you to get out a pen and paper or just take notes throughout this and feel free to pause this and, um, you know, rewatch it, anything, and always reach out to me or Wade with any specific questions. So uh, something I really, really, really want you to hear and absorb um, with this business is this business is going to grow as big as your belief. So I really want to ask you, like, how big is your belief? Do you believe that you have what it takes to grow beyond district? Do you believe that you are an enrolling and business building magnet? Do you believe that when people think of health and wellness, they think of you? Do you believe that you are capable and worthy and smart enough and good enough to build a huge business in Arbonne because you can. And I want you to know that I truly believe I am the ordinary girl that decided to go for it. Um, if you know about my story, I've had so many different jobs, so many different paths, so many different things that led me to Arbonne. And I saw this as an opportunity to change my life and to be able to wake up every day and design my days. And so I had no idea what I was doing when I started my business four years ago. I had never been involved in network marketing, but I knew, okay, if I treat this like a hobby, like most people do, it will pay me like a hobby. And there's nothing wrong with that. But knowing my dreams and what I wanted to create, I thought, wow, if I treat this like a business, this could be, pay me like a business. And that would give me choices. That would give me the opportunity to live a life on purpose and live a life that I design, not answering to anyone else telling me what days I need to work, what times I need to work, how many paid vacations I have, days of vacation I can have. Um, I wanted to make an impact. I wanted, I, I'm really big on legacy and thinking through, gosh, how will my children's children refer to me? How will they think of me? What will they remember? I am setting a strong foundation for future generations to come. For a long time in my life, I felt like I clocked in and clocked out. I traded time for money. It was great for me in the there and now moment, but I wasn't really doing anything to make a lasting impact. So that is something that drives me. So what drives you? Why are you building this? Did you just start with the 30 days and you kind of loved it and fell into the business and now you're like, oh, what's next? That's fine. Are you here to make money? That's great. Are you here for the community or to make friends? That's awesome. Are you here to become the healthiest, happiest, best version of you? You're in the right place. This is a personal development business that's disguised as a health and wellness business. The more that you personally grow, the more that you plug in, the more that you take this seriously and truly, truly, truly treat this like a business and prioritize it, the more that you will flourish. So I'm happy to have you here. Again, congratulations on going district manager. I'm really proud of you. You've done what most people will never do. To be honest, most people quit before they get here. Um, a lot of people have a you know short-term mindset of like, gosh, been in the business a month, two months, three months, five months, eight months, a year, and I haven't made X amount of money yet, so I'm going to dip, right? You have to have a long-term mindset, a long-term vision in this business, right? Nothing great happens overnight. It takes time. So stay the course, be patient, trust the process, know that you are exactly where you need to be right now. And with all that said, I am going to share my screen and we're going to go into the new district manager slides. Okay. Congratulations on your promotion to district manager. All right. And remember, you can visit earnings.arbon to know what's typical. 
Okay, so you are a new district manager. What the heck does this mean? So you've achieved your very first promotion. In Arbonne, we have four levels of management. We have district manager, area manager, regional vice president, and national vice president. And a fun little fact, if you ever notice an E before anyone's title, EDM, EAM, ERVP, ENVP, that means they are an executive district manager or an executive area manager or an executive regional vice president or an executive national vice president. And that E for executive means that they've helped someone else get to that level. So I want to help you become an EDM and an EAM and an ERVP and an ENVP, because that means not just you have leveled up and promoted, but you've helped someone else do it too. Okay, so as a new district manager, you've achieved your first promotion. You are growing in leadership. You may be a team of one and that's totally fine, or you may have started to build a team. Either way, I'm really proud of you. And if you can promote to district manager, and help others do the same, that is how you will continue to grow this business. It's really that simple. It's all about duplication. Oopsie. Okay, spoiler alert. I remember this being shocking to me. People will quit your business. What? Huh? People will be interested and then fall off. You will feel like you've hit a wall over and over again in this business. You'll have events that seem like a total bust. You will have cleaned your house, got all the snacks prepared, set everything out, and no one shows up. Or, you know, someone comes and has to leave 20 minutes later, or someone shows up late and missed the presentation or whatever. You're going to have so much of that stuff. That's all normal. I've had so many of those. And I've also had a lot of incredible um, gatherings and one-on-ones and conversations and events and all the things. So with the good can sometimes come the, I don't want to say bad, but, you know, Everything evens out, if that makes sense. So don't personalize it, internalize it, or live by it and feel like, oh my gosh, that means I'm not good at this business. That's all part of this business. Show me one national vice president in Arbonne that has ever had a seamless ride with no you know, hiccups or different surprises happen throughout their business. That's not how you build a nation. You build a nation by having a ton of flops, a ton of no shows, a ton of no responses, and you continue to show up. The only difference between me as an executive national vice president leading this call and you as a district manager is I've heard a lot more no's than you. I've had a lot more people not show up, a lot more people not respond, a lot more people say, no, thank you, I'm not interested. And that's fine. So I want you to become obsessed with the no's and know that every no leads you to your next yes. So trust the process. Okay, promotion and sales award boosters. This is really cool. So when you promote and grow throughout Arbonne's success plan, on top of your commissions and overrides, you also have the opportunity to earn exclusive per perks and awards at each level. So our promotion and sales award booster incentive awards you for building a solid foundation of consistent growing sales volume at each stage of the success plan. So please review Arbonne success plan that should have been mailed to you when you started your business. You can also find it on the source. Please familiarize yourself with the source. When you log into the back office of your Arbonne website, there's, it says like, um, my office, the source, um, I think like the CRM, there's different the little circles. There's different things you can click. The source is where you will find everything you possibly want to know how we get play, paid. So the success plan what that means, the success plan is like our comp plan. It's how to promote through the ranks. So you want to study the success plan. You want to know it. How can you rank throughout the success plan and continue to grow when you don't know what it takes to go to the next level, right? So as a new district manager, I want to make sure you know about this. Oftentimes we don't go for things that we don't know about them. So I'm making sure that you know about this. As a new district manager, you have the opportunity to earn this really awesome branded Arbonne water bottle and the entire AgeWell skincare set that's pictured here. How cool. So how do you do that? I'm going to walk through this left column where it says achieve underneath that first. So, okay. District manager promotion to boost it. What do you do in your first two months as a district manager, achieve 25,000, excuse me, 2,500, 2,500 qualifying volume in your central district, both months or promote out a new district manager from your central district, right? That would make you an EDM and you will earn this. So you do this, you do this. You will earn this age well set and the Arbonne brand water bottle. How cool. Okay, so DM achiever qualifications. So when you hit your achiever award, AKA a bonus, you earn an extra 200 bucks cash. That's a bonus on top of what you're earning in commissions and overrides. Um, yes, please, right? That's amazing. And I'm going through all of this in US 
dollars, you can go on the source or easily convert what it is in your country. Um, okay, so as your D, when you hit your DM Achiever Award during any of the first six months as a district manager, I hope you could see this. It's like kind of getting a little bit blurry. Um, you will also earn an extra hundred dollars. I really hope you guys can see this. An extra hundred dollars on top of, oopsie. There we go. An extra hundred dollars on top of the two hundred. So you're a new district manager this month. You can earn an extra three hundred dollars. How do you do that? Again, study the success plan, but I'll just give you a high level. As a district manager, when you enroll five new PCs or ICs with a 150 QV order, and the 150 is key because you only get credit for enrollment with 150. If someone bought something and it was 149 QV, yes, you'll still get paid commission and it will count toward your success line volume, but it doesn't count as an enrollment. So make sure when someone's signing up as a preferred client, how can you make sure they're totally taking advantage of their perks, free shipping, free gift, all those types of things. And by hitting that 150 QV, they activate the free shipping. They get a free gift on their next order of 150, all those stuff. So as a district manager, when you do five new PCs or ICs with a 150 QV order in your central district and 5,000 SLQV, which is success line volume, you will earn that extra $300. How amazing. And you will have automatically earned this. So that's a great goal, right? We don't want to coach people to maintenance and to bare minimum. We want to coach people to excellence. And when you're consistently hitting your DM bonus, that 5,000 SLQV, five new PCs and ICs and earning that first, that extra 300 bucks, that is the success plan telling you, you are ready to level up. Let's lean in a little harder and get ready to go area qual which is opening up the qualification to go into area manager, which is the second level of management. So know that the, this is there for you. This is money on the table. Don't leave it there. If you don't understand how to do this, how to turn up the dial, how to, if you need more coaching on what specifically to do, reach out to your direct sponsor, your VP, your NVP, me, and let's hop on a coaching call and dig into how do we do that? How do we structure an action plan for you? Okay, District Manager Achiever Award. I just said this, but just so you can physically see it. How do you earn the Achiever Award, aka the bonus? That's 5,000 in your Central District QV. Okay, so what does Central District mean? So I want you to think of it as your little franchise. I don't wanna say little, but your Arbonne franchise, right? Let's say you enroll a new teammate and they go district. They now have their own district. You have your own district. So their district was birthed out of your district. So that's still in your SLQV, but it's no longer in your central district because they've franchised out, right? So let's say you enrolled a new teammate and they're killing it and in their promotion to district, they're that first month they're going for the 5,000 and you're going for the 5,000. Guess what? 5,000 and 5,000 is 10,000. You're in qualification for area manager. So Make sure you're aware of central district and what's going on in your central, meaning closest to you, your personal franchise versus your overall SLPV. Okay. And then two, excuse me, five new um, signups or enrollments with 150 QV. And um, to get paid uh, as a district manager, you always must maintain a 150 PQV. If you're not doing 150 PQV, that means personally selling at least 150 QV per month, that's like three boxes of fizz. Like we got a problem, right? That should be very, very, very manageable. Um, that's even just restocking your own stuff, let alone helping your clients reorder. Okay. So those are just some good things to know. If you were under 150 PQB as a district manager, and you had a lot of success line volume or any success line volume, you would not get paid on that because this is a, um, this is like a, requirement to get paid on our success plan. That's how our comp plan works. So make sure you understand these things about our comp plan. If you want to learn more about how we get paid, my husband, Wade, um, has so many incredible trainings on YouTube. He has one called, I think it's like, um, how to make your first $500 in Arbonne. So just type in Sandy and Wade Crittities on YouTube, um, maybe with Arbonne, like Sandy and Wade Arbonne on YouTube, and you'll be able to find a lot of these trainings and more in depth, depth videos. Okay. Okay, let's move beyond district. Let's dig deep. Let's clarify your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you building your Arbonne business? What does it mean to you? Where do you want to go from here? When you envision your life five years from now, what do you want it to look like? 
where do you want to live? What do you want your living situation to look like? Your family situation, your finances, your lifestyle. What do you want to wake up on a Monday and have your day be like? What, what, what is that like? I really want you to like dig deep on that and envision that and know that Arbon could be a vehicle that gives you choices, right? My life looked extremely different four years ago than it does now. And that is thanks to Arbon and the hard work that I've put in. Okay, so I want you to show up and stay plugged in. We have weekly team calls. We have weekly accountability meetings. We have book club. We have so many resources and tools at your fingertips. If you plug in and treat this seriously, there is no reason why you can't be getting ready to go into call for area manager very, very, very soon. It's all about consistency. Consistency. That's the secret, guys, is consistency. Every single day, doing things to build your business. So I want you to commit to personal development. What are you reading every single day? Remember that leaders are readers. You want to lead a big team like Wade and I do? You got to read, right? Why? Why do you have to read? Because you have to pour into that part of your mind that's absorbing knowledge so you can support an organization, right? How can you pour from an empty cup? How can you teach and train and lead and mentor when you aren't doing it for yourself first, right? So there's a few books we recommend reading when you first start your business. If you have not already read GoPro by Eric Worre or Get Over Your Damn Self by Rumi Newstead, that's your homework this week. Read those books. They're easy reads. Order them immediately. I want you to have the hard copy of them, not just listen to it on Audible, right? One of my favorite MVPs in Arbonne, her name's Ashley Strong. She's so inspiring. She says, um, readers are not, or audiblers are not readers. It's very different to audible a book versus to read it. There's something special about your eyeballs seeing the words and your eyes following along with the words and having it really sink in, right? Okay, so commit to personal development. Read, have a morning routine. Do you practice gratitude? Do you say your affirmations? Are you following the 90 day habits journal? If you're not following the 90 day habits journal, that is like literally how I build my business. You can go to the website 90dayhabits.co and use the discount code ARBON30, A-R-B-O-N-N-E, and then the number 30 for 30% off. That is your workbook, your daily what to do guide, your best friend, your sidekick, your blueprint as to what to do every single day for your network marketing business. Okay, consistently do your 2,500 building block. Do, do not get into manager mode. I've seen this happen so many times. People start getting teammates and they think, okay, I'm just going to manage the district and I'm just going to tell this person to do this and this person to do this. And then they get upset when the person doesn't or they quit. No, you need to always be bringing in new and you, new and you, right? Always stay more focused on your personal business than anyone else on your team's business. 80% of your focus and energy and attention needs to go towards your clients, you enrolling new, you doing the work, you showing up. And 20% of your time and energy goes into your team. And we're going to duplicate that, right? So the, the magic and the power of a 2,500 building block, you know, as an independent consultant, which is what you were before you became a district manager, when you hit 2,500, that 2,500 building block and two new PCs or ICs every month, you earn that extra $100 bonus booster, right? There's a reason they incentivize you for that. They're teaching you how important that building block is. So you, you do that and you help one teammate do that. Guess what? That's your 5,000 district manager bonus. Imagine if we had that be our non-negotiable, our just standard for how we built this business. If you do the math on our success plan and you figure out what it takes to go into qual for each level, write this down as I'm saying this. 2,500 is your personal non-negotiable every month, regardless of how long you've been in the business, what title you have. Even to this day, four years in as an EMVP, I always have a non-negotiable of hitting 2,500 per month. In fact, my non-negotiable is more like anywhere from 5,000 to 7,500 per month. I've grown to that. That didn't happen overnight, but hold yourself to that standard, right? So 2,500 always personally. So if you do the math, you and three people doing 2,500, what's 2,500 times four? That's 10,000. What's 10,000 QV do? It gets you into qualification for area manager. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's just get ahead of ourselves here. What, what's you and 15 people doing 2,500? That's 16 times 2,500 is 40,000 QV. What does 40,000 QV do? It gets you into qualification for regional vice president, which is the third level of management, the Benz level, right? What is you and 63 people doing 2,500 do? So that's 64 times 24. 
excuse me, 64 people times 2,500, that's 160,000 QV. Guess what? You're in qualified nation. You can see this isn't magic, guys. It's math. The more people you understand how to do this business and do it efficiently and consistently, the more that your business will flourish, right? So share your vision with others. Declare where you're going. People don't want to hop on a boat or on a bus with a driver that doesn't know where they're going. They want to go with someone that's like, this is where we're going. This is how we're going to get there. This is where we're going to stop. This is what it's going to look like. If someone's just like, come on in, we're driving, no idea where we're going. When we're stopped, we might run out of gas. It's going to be a shit show. Um, people don't want to get on that, right? But when you're like, okay, California to New York, it's going to take us seven days for stopping here, here, and here. This is when we're going to have our pit stops. This is the, da, 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 da. people are like, Ooh, I like that plan. Right? So do you have a plan? Do you know where you're going? If you don't, people might not want to join you, but as you get clarity, people will understand that and see that and feel that and want to be part of it. And they're going to want to hop on board with your vision, right? So share your vision with others. Okay. Building a team. Notice when people are asking about your business. Don't be shy, guys. I have to take a quick sip of fizz one moment. Okay. Notice when people are telling you why they need this, right? You'll hear people all the time. Oh my gosh. My wife and I are like two passing ships in the night. We barely see each other. She's working two shifts. I work the night shift. We pass off with the kids. It's so rough. Uh, what is that person begging for? Time, time, freedom. What can we offer that person in Arbonne? Time, freedom, right? So it's, hey, I heard what you're saying. Would you be open to learning about an opportunity that could give you and your wife more time? It's being an active listener, guys. Be more interested than interesting. We have two ears and one mouth for a reason. We want to listen more than we talk. Listen to people's pain points. Listen to what people are sharing. If someone's like, oh, man, my digestion, I have such bloat. I always have this hard stomach. I, it's hard for me to figure out what foods work for me. I've tried every diet. Hey, based off what I heard, the, our 30 days to healthy living program would change your life. Would you be open to learning about a program that could help you with your digestion, that could help you with your bloat, that could help you learn what foods fuel your body? Would you be open to learning about that? If, if you knew that I had a solution that could help you, would you be willing to try it and put an end to this issue for you? Boom. Do you have confidence and conviction in the way that you're sharing our products, our business, our community, what we have to offer, right? So notice when people are telling you why they need this and offer the solution. It may be a fit for them. It may not. Don't be married to their answer. Just be committed to your job of consistently sharing what we have to offer. That's our one job is to share the business and to share the products. Don't overthink it, guys. This isn't rocket science. Utilize social media to create excitement and intrigue. Are you posting consistently on social media? You don't need to. This isn't a social media business. But nowadays, a lot of people use social media. It's a free tool. It's free advertising. I say, document your lifestyle. Show people the behind the scenes. What's it like to be you? What is your morning routine? What, you know, what are you doing in your business? What are the resources that you have access to? What if you posted a boomerang or a story or behind the scenes of our weekly Monday calls? Or even this right now, this call. What if you literally right now paused what I'm saying and you took a picture and said, so grateful for continued training from my upline, promoted to the first level of management. Now I'm learning about next steps. Grateful to be part of this team. What? Like, what if you showed people that stuff? Don't keep it to yourself. Show people what they get when they start an Arbonne business. Show them all the support that they get, right? Okay. Ask host. PCs, connectors, anyone who loves the products and connects you with others. Don't be afraid to ask. Ask and it is given, guys. If you don't ask, the answer is no, right? So ask people, hey, I notice you love the products. Would you be open to hosting a party? Let's host a get together, get a few girlfriends over. We could share a little bit about the products. We could sample stuff out. Hey, you have an incredible network. Who do you know that's looking to make an extra stream of earnings? Can I get their phone number? Ask and it is given. If you don't ask, the answer is no right? So just ask, get in that habit. Okay. Create events and opportunities to learn more. What if you created weekly opportunity zooms or you invited people for a one-on-one, -on -one, like a lunch date, right? Or like you guys just promoted district manager. What if you had a, um, I promoted to district manager, little healthy happy hour at your house or at a park or asked a PC or someone to host it for you and invited some people over and 
how to fizzy cheers and protein balls and said, I'm going to do a 15 minute it's our bond for you. And everyone's going to get a raffle ticket and um, you're going to raffle off a few amazing prizes and you created excitement and intrigue around your Arbonne business and around what you're doing, right? People are looking what we have to, for what we have to offer. Everyone has health goals. Everyone could use multiple streams of earnings, right? It's smart to have a plan B. It's smart to have backup plans to your main source of income, right? That's what Arbonne is. That's how it starts for most people, right? Okay. So next up, area manager. Perks of being an area manager, guys, your leadership grows immensely. You now have a willable business. What? Did you know that? Once you're a district manager, excuse me, once you're an area manager, you have a willable business. That is Arbonne saying, hey, you've helped so many people um, fall in love with these products. They never would have heard of Arbonne if it weren't for your word of mouth advertising. When the day comes one day that you pass on, assuming you maintain your area, you keep it there and customers continue to buy products. We're not just going to absorb the profit at Arbonne. You get to will that monthly paycheck to whoever you want, your children, your spouse, the charitable foundation. Maybe you want to tie it to a church, whatever that is. Can you imagine guys, the average monthly area manager paycheck is probably anywhere from like a thousand to 3,500 per month in us dollars. Imagine 3,500. Let's do the high end. Imagine 3,500 a month being willed to your family for eternity. For the next, you know, our bonds at this time is recording been around for 42 years. Imagine you pass on and 42 years after you're gone, your family is still getting that every single month. That is insane. I don't know any other opportunity that does that with any job, with any business I've ever had. I die, my paycheck dies, not in our bond. They're not going to absorb that profit. They're going to say, you worked hard to build this. You worked hard to network. You worked hard to build your team. You get to pay your family for life or whoever you want for life through this when you pass on. That's amazing. Guys, you went district manager already. Guess where the next stop is? Area manager, willable business. I love stressing that because it's such a huge deal. And then after area manager, what's next? The next promotion is RVP. That's regional vice president. That's where you participate in the Mercedes Benz VP success award. So when you hit your 40,000 a month, Every month as, a, as an RVP, you can get in the US, it's an extra $800 per month towards your white Mercedes. You can buy a Mercedes, you can lease a Mercedes, it doesn't matter. You can buy an old clunker and buy it outright cash and then just collect the 800 a month towards the payment. It could be like your extra car or your date night car, or you can go ham and get a G-Wagon and you'll probably still have to pay extra over that monthly um, cash success award to cover the difference, but you get to choose. That's an extra perk of building this business on top of the commissions and the overrides and the incentive trips and all the things. I haven't even touched on incentive trips, guys. Oh my gosh, Arbon rolls out two incentive trips per year. You could be a brand new consultant. This could be your first month in business and you're already a district manager. And yes, you can earn the next incentive trip. It doesn't matter how long you've been in business. It doesn't matter your title. It doesn't matter any of that stuff. It's just, are you willing to put in the work? And they roll out the red carpet, let me tell you. For you in a plus one, five days, uh, all expense paid trip. There's usually a level one and a level two. Level one will get you the trip. Level two will get you the trip and airfare for you in a plus one. What? My jaw literally just popped because I opened my mouth so big. <laughs> so yeah, guys, know what is in front of you. Know what Arbonne has to offer. If you are aware of what is in front of you and what you can earn, you'll earn it. If you're oblivious, just kind of going through the motions, unsure of what's happening, you might not earn these things, right? So that's the intention of this call is to have you learn what's right in front of you. So what you need to go area manager, you need 30,000 SLQV, that success line volume over three consecutive months or 24,000 SLQV success line volume over two consecutive months. So what do you need to open up qualification? You must have 10,000 SL, SLQV in your first and last month. So let's say you opened up qualification with 10,000 QV and you wanted to close it in two months, you would need 14,000 QV in the second month. So what they're saying is you can't do 8,000 in one month and 16,000 in the next and eight plus 16 equals 24. You need to have 10,000 to open up qualification. So if you were at 9999, you missed it by one QV, right? So I say, shoot for the moon, right? What if you, instead of hitting the bare minimum of 10,000 to go into qual, what if you shot for 12,000 QV? That's essentially you and four other people hitting your 2,500 building block, right? 2,500 times, let me grab my calculator. Calculator, let's see, 2,500, U plus four, that's five times five. Yeah, that's 12,500. I'm almost done, babe. 
That's 12,500. That will get you into strong qual. Imagine you doing that two months in a row. Oh, there's my father-in-law. Imagine you doing that two months in a row. Guess what? You're a new area manager. So you can take 10,000 volume from each district manager leg. You must have 25 in your central district each month to go into qual. Make sure you know these things. Reach out to me. Reach out to Wade. Let's get your questions answered, okay? I want to make sure you feel strong about how you're going to do this. Okay, so grit, guys. Get some because you need it in this business. Grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future day in and day out, no matter what, guys. Not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years, right? And working really hard to make that future a reality. Grit is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Remember, this isn't a race, guys. It's not a race to how fast you can get to a promotion or earn your car or earn the incentive trip. It's all about the journey, right? Enjoy the journey. So stay connected to team trainings, to social media, to our Arbonne conferences. Make it a non-negotiable to attend our annual training conference in Vegas. If you're serious about your business, you're in Vegas. Always. You don't miss it. So prioritize these things, our weekly or our monthly, um, our weekly team calls, our WAM calls, our book clubs, um, even our monthly nation meetings. If wherever you live in the world, we can find a nation meeting near you that you can plug into with other Arbonne people. So stay connected to that stuff, guys. Again, if you treat this like a, a hobby, totally fine. It'll be a hobby. If you treat this like a business, it has the capacity to change the trajectory of your life as it has mine. So I'm coaching you and leading this call with the intention of you knowing that if you hear what I'm saying, if you latch on to every word, if you really do it, there's no reason why you can't be where I am, right? So you got this. I believe in you. Thank you so much for listening. I'm excited to hear about all the incredible things that you're going to do. I'm proud of you. And I want to ask you after you've watched this to find me on Voxer. If you are not, if you do not have the app called Voxer, download it right now. Just so you know what it looks like. Let's see. It's this little orange logo. And I want you to find me. So my profile name is S Claus, C L A U S 886. S Claus 886. Find me and voice memo me and say, hold it down on the button. Hey, Sandy, I just watched your district manager call. I'm so fired up. I'm ready for next steps. Let's do this. Introduce yourself. If I haven't met you, especially, I want to know you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. First top district manager, check. You've done it. Now let's earn that bonus. Have a good day.